Dwayne Walker. Dwayne Walker. Dwayne Walker. Dwayne Walker. This is complete package in my eyes. Like it's got great shape. It's got great crate condition. He is the next big thing in bodybuilding. Mark my words. What's up, guys? Today is Tuesday. And I'm just here to give some updates, you know what I mean? As I can see, I'm still in bed. But I'm going to talk to y'all still. Bright and early. Um, so, you know, I did surgery. If you're following the series, I did surgery Thursday. Last week, Thursday the 28th. Since then, I did two physiotherapy sessions. And physio is proving to go well. Um... I think, I think personally, I, I, I feel, I feel the recovery taking place. Um, I can't say for sure how, how, I can't say for sure how I, ahead I am in recovery because I don't have anything to compare it to or anybody to really compare it to. So I don't know if I'm making a quick recovery or it's going as it's supposed to go. So I can't speak on that really, but I definitely know I am recovering and I'm and I'm making progress. <clears throat> um, I'm able to bend the knee a lot, and it's I have a lot of pain-free days. Or well, most of the days are pain-free, um, but just discomfort and tightness. Um, so I can bend the knee. I'm getting more range of motion as the days go by while still maintaining my car uh, my, my physiotherapy while eating at home i still practice the movement so i'm getting the range of motion back gradually um the swelling is going down gradually as well i'm able to maneuver myself in an outer bed a lot better um using the crutches not so difficult anymore because i can put a little bit more pressure on my legs while walking with the crutches so that's proven to be a little bit more easy but i mean having on altogether having on this brace and so forth is it, it it really changed up stuff a lot for me you know being in the bed for most of the day well pretty much all of the day all of the night i only really get up to like use the restroom and then i'm right back in the bed laid up on my back you know keeping the leg elevated and um keeping it fixed so i don't move it around too much unnecessarily so you know it's kind of mm, kind of boring and annoying you know frustrating just being in the bed all day being on your back not being able to lay on your side or on your tummy because that puts the knee in a bad position i mean getting in the shower that's hell using the toilet hell can't put my socks on myself can't put my shoes on myself you know everything is different even putting on my shorts is a whole different experience now but you know that comes with it all um one thing i want to mention was that yo each time i went to the to the physio i called the uber right use the uber and to my surprise even though these drivers saw me with my crutches and my backpack none of them got out the vehicle to even open the door for me fine you don't want to help me get in the vehicle but at least get the door for me none of them did that um at one point in time i had to just get in the vehicle sit down and just be there and I said nothing. And let them realized that I can't close the door. For them to come and close the door. It was it was ridiculous. But and it was surprising to me though. Like, damn, yo, it's obvious I would need help. But none of them decided to help. I don't know why. Okay, man, but it is what it is. I'm not I'm, I'm not like a weak ass person where it's gonna get on my mentals or affect me. I wasn't gonna curse and complain. I just it was just something I noticed, you know what I mean? Also, after doing my second physiotherapy session yesterday, when I got home, I felt, I, I kept feeling the difference after the session. Um, 
the swelling is going down and it's obvious because each day I have to readjust the, the straps and the brace to make it a bit tighter because the swelling going down so the brace got loose over time so I had to adjust that um, this morning I was able to get out of bed without holding on to anything I was able to stand up without the crutches and to my surprise I can walk without the crutches as well so I'm gonna show show you a video of me doing some a little bit of walking or hobbling around if you want to call it that without the crutches so that's today's update guys thanks for watching thanks for staying tuned thanks for supporting thanks for reaching out with the comments I'm about to ask you to do take you out for a drink no what if i throw in a car once jamie thinks i should buy you a car what kind of car probably have to be used I really am So here you have the beast. I can now walk. But walking with a limp. So I don't need the crutches to walk anymore. But I'm still going to be using them just to stay safe and not to rush the process because I have no problem in taking my time and being patient because I want to heal properly. So even though I can walk with other crutches, I'm still going to be using them until the doctor or the physiotherapist advise differently. All right.